Well, years back, I heard a man with three earned master's degrees and two earned doctoral degrees say this, your education is not valuable merely because of what you paid for it. I know Rhodes scholars who are stupid. Any education that doesn't give you wisdom is worthless, end quote. And, of course, the man that said that is a mutual friend of both mine and Sam Roars, and that is U.S. Senate Chaplain Barry Black, former Rear Admiral of the United States Navy, and now for about going on 13 years has been Chaplain of the United States Senate, a phenomenal, phenomenal man, highly intelligent, highly trained from an educational background, but a man, if you've ever been around him, if you've ever heard him speak, literally has the wisdom of God that flows from his heart and out his mouth. Sam, we're talking about uh, certain people in the country, rural America versus urban America or the city dwellers, and the view is that rural Americans are ignorant the urbanites, or those that live in urban America, are uh, filled with intelligence. The bottom line, Sam, is this. You can have all the education in the world. You can be as educated as I'm sure Joy Reid has been educated in secular institutions. But if you don't have, as Dr. Black said, that one component of wisdom, you've missed it. So what I'd like for you to do is define biblically what wisdom is and how is it different from just knowledge. Well, Dave, in simple terms, wisdom is, I put it this way, it's the ability to take and properly use knowledge that you have. But it presupposes that that knowledge is a knowledge that exists based on truth, which starts with a fear of God. So if you go to the Word of God, the book of Proverbs, many places throughout, it will say many times that the fear of God is the beginning of of wisdom. It will also say the fear of God is the beginning of knowledge. But the fear of God is really the beginning of anything of worth value. And so whether it's what we think or it's what we do with what we know, it's the fear of God element, Dave, that makes it real wisdom or just some kind of educational training. Wisdom has within it a knowledge of God, a fear of God, a reverence for God. Because it says that the person who has wisdom understands that God is a creator, that he gave us all that we have, that we didn't come out of the swamps somewhere, an evolutionary approach, but we were creatures made of God in God's image with great value. And with it, we have a purpose for living. Wisdom takes those things that humankind has dealt with for centuries. Why are we here? Why are we alive? What's our purpose? Wisdom takes and puts it together and says, no, there's a reason why we're here. We're made in God's image. We're made to honor God. He loves us. He gave his son to die for us. We're sinful, but he can redeem us and give us an eternal home in heaven. We have a purpose, a reason for living. When we have God's knowledge, we can look about our family and say, there's a reason why a father is a father and a mother is a mother and children are children. And there's a reason why Uh, intact families work better and there's a way to get there and there's a way for societies to work well if a person believes those things he's believing God's Word because they lay it out this starts really though at the fear of God so Dave wisdom is something so dramatically lacking and if it were to be regained would make a tremendous change in this country but it would also can't happen until we return to the God I think as a nation we've rejected Sam, you quoted Proverbs 9:10. the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. I also want to quote the book of James where the Bible says, If any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God, who will give to all men liberally and won't chastise you for asking. So it does indeed all go back to God. God is the source of wisdom, and if we lack it, and may I say this, much of our political framework and our national leaders lack wisdom, though they are highly trained individuals from uh, a pedigree standpoint, from the colleges and the resumes that they have, that they have attended, and the degrees they have attained. But if they don't have wisdom that starts with God, and they're not willing to ask God, who is the source of all wisdom, then we're in trouble. If they will acknowledge God and will ask him for the wisdom that they so desperately need, then there's hope for the United States of America.